Hello and welcome to Let's Build the Durmstrang Ship. Hmm, something different. Okay, so as you can see in front of us is our lovely Hogwarts. If you have been following my Let's Build Hogwarts tutorials, that's where we're up to. You can just see the clock tower at the background there. Yeah, I think that might be another couple of weeks before that gets released, but that's roughly where you're at. Um, so this is my new side series. The last side series was Hogsmeade train station along with the train. Go check out those tutorials if you haven't already. And this one, we're going to focus on the Durmstrang ship. That's the ship that the Durmstrang students and Karkaloff and Victor Crumb arrived in the Goblet of Fire. And we see it in the films, it's described in the books. Um, that's what we're going to attempt to build today. I don't know how many parts this is going to take. It's going to take a few. That I do know. It's going to take, I originally thought it about three maybe four, but it's extremely detailed, um, so it might take a bit more. So we're just going to have to play it by ear for the time being, really. Um, so, we're going to put our ship in our lake, so if you're following my tutorial videos and you haven't done the lake yet, you really need the lake. You can't put a ship in the water without the lake. You kind of need the lake. You can't have a ship without the water. So I'm going to put it alongside here. So we're going to face that way because that's where it pops up in the films. It popped up wee there. So we're going to put it alongside here, roughly. We'll probably start a little bit closer. Yeah, I think we'll go there. So we're roughly level with the end of the stairs there. We're going to go there. It's just estimated you can come as close or as far as you want. Mm -hmm. But that's where we're going to start. We're going to go down and all the way under the water. So for our equipment, we're going to need some dark oak planks. Oops. There they are. We're going to need some spruce planks. We're going to need some oak planks, some spruce stairs, some dark oak stairs, dark oak fence. Was that that, that was that wasn't it? Was there just dark oak fence? And we're gonna pick a completely random colourful block to use as markers. So we're going to have blue wool because that's going to stand out and I think we'll go for red wool. Just some markers there because we will be placing a couple of markers that we can come back to to do things later. It just makes things a little bit easier if we can place the markers now. Um, is that everything for the time being? Yes it is. Okay, so... Hmm. Which way is Hogwarts? Is it that way? Ah, it's that way. So we're just going to place a bit of a marker here. There we go. This just shows us that that way is Hogwarts. Hogwarts is that way. Arrow. Because chances are we're going to get turned around quite a bit here. So, especially with us being underwater. So we're going to place, to begin with, any of the planks and you're just going to build a tower all the way to the top until you reach the top of the water. Like so, this tower. Then you're going to count down four. One, two, three and four. And you're going to take away the bottom ones. So, take away the extras, and then we're going to take away the three on top. That's our starting block, that's where we're going to start from. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to focus on the spine of the ship. 
So we're going to do the centre of the ship, across the bottom and up either side. And then we're going to start padding out the sides. I don't think we're going to get much further than that today to be honest because we're going to take this slowly because it is extremely bitty and fiddly. So we're going to take it nice and slow. There's probably not going to be any fast forward or time skips in this. Um, we're going to go nice and slow. And I appear to have overdone the squids a bit. Look at all those squids. I, I do get carried away with these things, don't I? Oh, well. So we're going to go across this direction towards the back end of Hogwarts. Just check we're in the right direction. Yep. We're going to go a total of 29 blocks. We've already got one, so we need to add 28 to it. So we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'm just going to put a marker there. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. So we can remove those. I'm just glad we've got good vision under this water, otherwise it would be very tricky to show you how to do this. So that is the absolute bottom of the boat. And we're going to add another row on top. And then we're going to focus on this side to begin with. This side is the back end of the boat. So if that's where Hogwarts is, that's where the boathouse is down there. So this is the back end of the boat. So we're going to focus on the back end. The back end is going to be dark oak, the dark oak side. Right. So we need our dark oak stirs. And on the wrong page, there we go. going to put on the like so then we're going to add oops, two dark oak planks and a dark oak stair then we're going to add three dark oak planks one, two, three and a dark oak stair so again we're going to take this nice and slow there will be mistakes I have no doubt so if I make too many mistakes I'm very very sorry but I've only built this once so far so however it was on yesterday so with a bit of luck it's all still fresh in my head so if we're going to add three spruce yes, nope Okay, first mistake. I've made this in the wrong one. <laughs> we wanted spruce. I knew something was off. Thankfully. Something I've realised sooner rather than later. Up my way. Definitely overdone the squids. That's better. Okay, so we're going to add three spruce on there. So that's where we are. So there's three there, like that. And so it's two, three. Three over there. Yeah. I'm trying to make reference to my notes, so if I'm going quiet, I'm focusing on my notes and I'm trying to make heads and tails of my own notes. I'm not great at taking notes. Oops. All flying apparently. Add four and stairs. 
Oh, nope, no stairs. Just the fall. Then come back to the spruce. Add one and two. Like so. And then we're coming to the dark oak fence. One, two, and then dark oak planks. Yep. So now we're going to put a spruce on the top there. We're going to add three. Three on top of the first fence. Then we're going to add fence on the first two. And then we're going to add two dark oak planks on both of those with stairs on the top one there. On this row we're going to add two fences and then two planks, two dark oak planks. Okay, and with this one, we're just going to pull a line out, like so. That's going to be the floor of the first deck, the main deck. So we just want to stick that there for now. Um, add another spruce on top. 100% certain that's right. We'll find out later if it's not. Add two more fences. And then two dark oak. Let me just double check that. Yep. So now we're going to add four dark oak planks across the top of all of that with a stir on the end. Upside down stir. And then we're going to add three on the end. One, two, three. With a stir. Four. One, two, three, four. Then three. Then two. With a stir. Then another two with a stir. Okay, and then hmm, another two with another stir. So it does look a little strange. You've got two stairs on top of each other. Some of this is excess, but it was easy for me to make the notes this way. So, it, whatever is extra can easily be removed later on. Right. Okay. So, just to clarify things, we want to count how many we've got, how many high. So, we've got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You should be level with the bottom of the boat. Yeah, okay. It's easy to miss a layer. I say it's a bit of a complicated build, this one. So if we make sure we get our bits right at the beginning, hopefully it'll make the future a little bit easier. So that's one end. We're going to go and do this end, which is mainly in spruce. So the spruce end, we're going to put some spruce stairs on the second one. Not the first, but the second one. And then we're going to have our spruce planks 
directly above the stairs and we're going to come out a total of three. So we've got one, two, three with a stair on top. And then we're going to put one directly on top of the stair. We're going to come out two with a stair. If I'm confused, then so is everybody else. So we've done the three, we've done a two. So we've another two, but not on the end of the stair. One, two, and then a stair. And then another one. A stair. Hopefully you can follow this even if I'm not making much sense with my words. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. So we've added four rows of two. Yes, we have. Um, then we're going to come across here. We're going to come out one and then a stir on there. So we've got an excess of one. And hopefully, if we've done this right, let me just check it's the right one. This should line up with the bit we've got back here. Yes! Okay, again, if there's any excess, we can remove that later. It's easy to remove and undo things. I don't know. I'm losing my words again. See? Okay, so we're going to add a marker here. We're going to stick with the red one. No, we're not. We're going to put our bits in first. Go from the end. One, two, three with spruce stairs and then we're going to add a mark here doesn't matter how high just make it a couple of blocks high for the time being and then we want four one two three four with a stone oops wrong way and then we want six. One, two, three, four, five, six with a stone. Okay, so I'm trying to make sense of my own notes again. So we're going to put a block on the end of that stir. We're going to come out this way two blocks with a stir and then this side two blocks so you should have a total of five blocks one two three four five with a stir on the end and then we're going to put dark oak stir there and then we're going to put a dark oak stair there and then spruce planks, we're going to add seven. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left with a stair. And then we're going to put in another stair, dark book stair. And we're going to add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With a stair. Uh, nope, with that, not a stair. One, okay, we need some spruce slabs. We forgot the slabs. I forgot the slabs. Where's the slabs? 
leaves. I'm going to put three slabs on the top like so. And then we're going to come back to the spruce planks and we're going to add one, two, three, four, and then a slab on the end of that. And there we have it. The spine of our ship. Let me check my time because I forgot to make note of the time before I started. 15 minutes. Okay, that's excellent. I will have to keep it to an hour today, maybe an hour and five, depending on what we're up to in an hour's time. Uh oh, sorry, I'm trying to move. Woo, dizzy. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the main spine done. So now we need to go down and place a couple of markers. So from the, so we've got a call, that's the spruce end, that's the dark oak end, that's the back, that's the front. So from the front spruce end, we're going to come in, um, did I count the star or not? Oh dear, I can't remember. Um, Okay. Excuse me. Right. We could not count the stair. We will count the stair. Okay, so the stairs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will go and double check later whether or not those are in the correct position. And we shall fix it if it's not. It's going to be next time, maybe the time after that, before we get to do all these out anyway. So, seven blocks from the end, including the stair, seven blocks, put your first marker in. So, that's number seven. Let's double check, count twice, cut once. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven put another marker. Then we're going to keep going. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 put another marker. As I say I will go and double check to see whether or not those are in the correct positions because I can't remember or not if I counted the stair. So I shall have to go and double check on that. Doesn't look quite right, I've got to admit. That side looks much, much bigger than that side. Okay, I'm going to have to go and double check those numbers for that. Never mind, we'll worry about that next time. Let's find my note. Okay. This is where my notes get a little bit dodgy. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to start at the dark oaks, the dizzy. The dark oak side. And we're going to count along from the dark oak side. Eight blocks from the spruce. So not counting that stir at the end there, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with the oak, we're going to place a block there. And we're going to move along 15. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excuse me. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
on the second row of that. And then we're going to add another row next to it of dark oak. Excuse me. Like so. And we're going to do the same on this side too. So whatever we do on one side now gets repeated on the other side. Like so. Then, on either side of the oak, we're going to put three dark oak planks with a stair. That one has a stair too. Stair and stair. Two, three, with a stir and a stir. One, two, three, stir and a stir. See, now I'm convinced that those are in the wrong places now. I think that's in the right place, but I don't think these two are. Hmm. Just have to go double check those. Okay, so we're going to come back and focus on this side. So we're facing away from Hogwarts. There's Hogwarts. Turn around. So back end, front end. Oh. Right, and believe it or not, this is where we now get extra fiddly. Okay, so as I say, we're going to take this slow. I've run out of notes now, so I'm working off the build that I've got on the Xbox. I'm going to have to keep referring back to the Xbox because it was rather tricky to make the notes without getting lost, which I did. So sorry for the stillness, but I'm just trying to get my head around this. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up. Oh, that's a stair. So dark oak. Like that. I don't need that one there. We're going to put a stir on that one. No, we're not. See, it's easy. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Put that one there, that one there, and a stir on top of that. So we're essentially replicating the level below. Now. And then gonna come focus on this side so we need I'm going to put one there two so we're sticking out by like two clear blocks and stairs there so it's actually replicating a bit on the nope so it's not right I know what's not right. Sorry, see, uh, seven mistakes. Okay, so remove that bit. Right. We're gonna come out a block, up a block, and out a block. That's where I've gone wrong. So we are replicating a bit below it, just one block further out. One, two, sticks out two, stir, and then this one also sticks out two, so it's one, two, it's 
great. So you've got one spruce left before the end of the same on this side. See what I mean with the fiddly? It's a fiddly fiddly. One, two, and then stir. Let me go and double check that that side is the same. It certainly is. Okie dokie. And whoops, repeat on the other side. So the best way to do it is to pick the stir, the bone before the stir, come out block. This side. Excuse me. There you go. One, two. Stir. Nope. Add another one. And then the stir so it wants to match up with the one below it on this row. They don't all do that. Here we go. There's another layer done. Hopefully, we're going to keep going until we get to the, that deck floor. Um, I've got about half an hour left, so hopefully that we should get to that deck floor. Assuming I don't make any more big mistakes. So I'm just going to keep coming out and giving you all a good look. Just in case I'm not making myself very clear. Which is very possible. So don't forget, that's the front end of the ship. I'm going to come back. This is the back end of the ship. Move. Move. There you go. Okay, so this is the back end of the ship. Should be the same on this side. Back end of the ship. On this side, front end of the ship. I say I'm just going to keep giving you a good view. We're going to keep doing this because we're better going nice and slow and making sure we know what we're doing. So this is the bottom of the ship. If you make a mistake here, it will have a knock on effect. And we don't want that. So next row okay so we've done that row and we've done uh, that row and we've done uh, that row so we're on this row and this row is another fiddly one because we're going to come out an extra block if we focus on the middle bit there I think that might be the wisest thing to do. So, okay. We're going to focus on this stir bit here. One, two. That's what we've done. Come out two blocks there. Drag this down. Let's focus on this end because that's where I am on the Xbox at the minute. Um, so this is the front end of the ship. Um, I'm going to focus on these two bits that we've just put on. And the front one has a stair on it. The back one comes out another couple of blocks. Like 
so. And then same again on this row. So we're going to have to come in here. So we've got a block below that stair there. Stair, block, stair. Um, same again, same again. And we should line up with that one. We should. Put one in there, bring it out until you've got a block clear. Stir. Same on this side, bring it out until you've got a block clear. And stir. And we do, we line up there. Ooh. This took me ages to do first time round. I'm going to stop and give you a good look. Well, I go check to make sure the back end is the same as the front end. Okay, so move out the way. Squid's on here too. So block, stir, block, stir, block, stir, and then a stir. Okay, so it's all the same except the last one. So now we're going to go back to this end, and on this end, I'm going to add, lock that back, and add a block there, so it's in line with that stair. Block, then stair clear. This one, we want a block there. So of course, we can't leave a hole, so we have to fill that hole in. That's what the back end looks like. That's what the spruce end is like. We. Now we're out of the water. We're going to start walking out of the water anyway. So this is actually quite a fiddly one because I can't quite see what lines up with what. Because one bit's below water, one bit's out of water. Okay, so we're gonna stick that out again and that stir is level with that's got one block and stir. Right. So we're going to start at the spruce end, front end. Graphics are better on here. Uh, 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 uh. Nearly made the same mistake again there. Okay, so we're coming out. And then our stair here is level with the second front one, the second one. We'll level with that one. So we're just going to pull this over a bit. Okay. So I'll stir a block and stir a block and stir. So it's one, two more blocks and stairs. I really hope this is making sense to people. Block and stair past that bit. Block and stair past that bit. So we've got two of those. because we have to cover the water and then a stir so the stir is directly behind that stir
downstairs are directly behind each other. Raise it up a bit. It can be a little tricky to see because the wood starts to blend in. Get rid of any excess that you can, just pop it out. You might not be able to. See the hole there. So that's what you want to end up with. And I've not been repeating it on the other side. Have I? Nope, I have not. Oh, I'm a silly woman. Right. Hmm. So just copy what you've got on the other side. It's easier to do it as you're doing it, if that makes sense. End. I'm on the spruce end. So this is the third layer. One, two, three. It goes one below that, above that. Me. in front of that stair there and then this one has a block clear and then a stair you have an extra block and then a stair you have an extra block and then a stair Yes, that's better, that's correct. Very sorry if I've messed that up. So I'm gonna have to pause the video and have a good look there. Now remember, this side was slightly different. So I'll just go back to this end. One, two, three, so you stuck out the same way that one does. So that stair is in front of that stair. So then this one should come out of a clear block and then a stair. 
rock and a stair. Plug your holes. You don't want to sink. And a stair. And I think that one has a stair like that. So that first last stair should be directly under that fence there. Is that right? No. <laughs> Okay, I see. Forgive me, it's this one. That one has a stair there, so that one gets knocked back one. With a stair there. Okay, so you've got your front row here. That stair pops out one above that stair. Don't forget you two out here. It's this one you've got a clear block and a stair, just a stair, a clear block and a stair, just a stair. So that, that stair should end one block before the fence. Okay. Righty then. So that's three layers. So we're going to pop out another one. And this one, the stair. Okay, so this is the back end of the boat. We have to keep catching our bearings, make sure we're in the correct spot. So this is, we're now on the back end of the boat here, and we want our first stir, dum dum dum, to be one before the stir below it. Not like that. Like that. So there's one stir, and then that stir is one block in front of that one. Now, it's one block and a stair, one block and a stair, one block and a stair. Okie dokie. Okay, so up here. One block and a stair. One block and a stair. There's the block, there's the stair. Block and a stair. And then it's three stairs directly in front of each other, the last one ending at the front of the first fence. Stair, block, stair, there's the fence, there we go, so that bit's correct, woohoo! Okay, I'm going to double check on the Xbox because I can't remember what I did on that end now. Okay, so it's one above one in front so there's the stir there's the stir there the block it's a little trickier to see there's the stir block and stir okay so there's the stir there block and stir okay then with one block stair, one block stair. How's it? I like to pick the tricky bills, don't I? One block stair.
Ešte. One block. Ešte. And then it's one, two, three stairs in behind each other. And we should have a block and a stair left. Okay. Stair. 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 One block and a stair left. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, we've got this back end to do. Okay, so this is the back end facing Hogwarts. Okay, so the front stair is actually in line with the stair. There. Bum, 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 bum. It should be stair. Yes. Oh, I see, I get confused now. Yes. So it's block stair, a block stair, and a block stair. So three block stairs. Okay. Block stair. Block. Uh, I'm not counting the one as you may have guessed already, the first one I put down because that's just covering up a hole. Block, stair, wait a minute, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, so stairs in front of that one until it is level with that fence, hopefully. it is okay da, 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 da. we're running out of time this is going to be a long build I think this is going to take longer than I expected so just go through to see if there's any blocks that we can remove which I don't think there is because I think I'm quite good with it all Okay, so now we want some sponge. Let's go in and go. We want some dry sponge to get rid of one of our markers. We won't be needing those for a while. I'm going to soak up the water that's in here. shape it looks like a boat uh, I reckon we can get another layer or two done I don't have a lot of time left we shall soon see this is going to take much longer than I thought though I think okay Hogwarts there so we're going to start at the spruce end of Hogwarts We are now focusing on this layer here and we're going to come out another one. Is that stair? Oh, it is stair. Okay, so we're going to go down and find this bit here. And then we're going to come in 
place a block before the stair and then we're going to place a stair on the front like that a block and then we're going to come out another one and then a stair okay one two and a stair so behind it a block and a stair so am i right in thinking that one's level with that yep we're on course yep okay so, oops, run. a block and a stair, another block and a stair behind it, block and a stair, so that's that one, two blocks and a stair, block and a stair, block and a stair. Stair, stair, and then double it. Okay. Plus a block there, and a stair. A stair, and a stair next to that. I'm going to take that one back out. Okay, so this side, so this is Hogwarts side, back end. Okay, and we're on this level here. Struggling to see now because the sun's shining on the screen. So that wants to remain level with that one. So that's this one. That wants to remain level with that. And then we come out one block and a stair. Like so. One block and a stair. One block and a stair. Mm. Alexa, shush. So block and stair. Block and stair. So one, two. So I know on the other side we had two blocks at one point, but we're not on this side. Got one, two, three block and a stairs. We've got that there. One, two, and we should line up with that one. Okay. Um, okay, I can't see. Can't see. Oh, the sun's going. Right, okay. So then that one is just a block. Is that right? Star planks. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go on the other side. Start off with a plank and a stair because we know that bit. Then we're to pump out 
outer block and a stair, outer block and a stair, outer block and a stair, and block, stair. Is that right? Here's to be. This one comes all the way across. So that the level with that, I'm not sure if that's correct, so I'm just going to go and double check. So where are we? We are opposite and we are at the spruce end, so with the front. And we are one level above the water. Okay, so the stir actually stops one block behind. So, and then two blocks and a stair, and one block and a stair. I don't know if ships are actually exactly symmetrical. Or the exact same on the other side. But this is the way I've done mine. So this is the way I'm doing yours. <laughs> if you want to tweak it, go ahead, tweak it. Um, okay, I've got to go double check that's right because I've got a bit carried away now. It is right. Thank you. Okay, right, we can get one more row in. I'm really pushing my luck for time at the moment. That's not a stair, that's a plank. Should that be a stair? Well, it's directly in front of that one. Whoops. And that's supposed to be a plank. That's not right. One, oh, I'm looking at one level. One, two, right, yes, I was right with the stair. Okay. So, above it is a plank. Double check see if that's the floor level, and we are one block below the floor level. Getting confused, getting confused. What's that? That would appear to be a plank, which is what we've just done. Plank goes directly on top of that stair. Yes, and then the stair goes directly next to the plank. Next up. Okay. Starting to square it off, I see. So, so that's the plank and the stair. Nice. Stair there. Plank, plank's there. Plank, 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 plank. Stair, plank. What are you? Planks. Which is what I've got there. Stairs next to the plank. So, stairs next to the plank. Okay. I feel like I'm doing this a bit backwards now. We had a rhythm, didn't we? So, 
plank there and a stir, plank there and a stir, plank there and a stir again. Like so. All the way until we get to the front. Plank, plank. There, oops, we are now at the front. Yep, because now we're going we're boxing off, we're squaring out. Alrighty. Should we do the other side of that while it's fresh in our heads? So it's a plank and then a stair plank behind the stair, plank diagonal to the stair, with the stair next to that, one, two, stair, one, two, stair, one, two, stair, There. So we're now on the Hogwarts side at the back end. So was this Hogwarts, he's over there, and we want the back end. We are one block below the floor, so we are on level with those windows, which we'll do next time. Windows are not going to get in today. Is that a plank? That is a plank. And that's a stair. So we want a plank and a stair over, plank and a stair. So that one should line up directly with the one underneath it. You don't always do that as you know. So a plank and a stair, a plank and a stair. So we want two of those. Plank and stair. Plank and stair um, and then one two two stairs in front of that now we've got plank one stair plank two stair and we go plank and plank Same on this side. Plank, plank. Stir. Stir. This one came one past and then a stir. One past and a stir. One past and stair. I think that's right. Yep. Okay. That's another layer done. So just go round, make sure, see, see how many you can get rid of. Because the more you can get rid of, the more space you'll have when it comes to the interior. Okay, 
Go on that. That can go to that. Right. I think that's all we're going to get. Still, better than nothing. Right. So that's it for today. We're not going to get much more in there. It's like this is going to be a long build. I'm now suspecting it's going to be more or less six to eight parts. Hmm. Uh, but as you can see, we've already got the base of the boat. He looks like a big rowboat at the moment. A giant rowboat. There is a lot of detail in this, so it, it's going to take a while. Okay, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to go check those markers that are in the correct place because I'm not convinced they are in the correct place. So that's what I'm going to have to do the next time. This today is Wednesday. I'm recording this on a Wednesday. There is a Hogwarts tutorial due out tonight, so this will probably be out hopefully on Thursday. So hopefully today for you guys is Thursday. The next one will be out at some point over the weekend. We stream on the weekends. I think it's Friday, Saturday this weekend, but it could be Friday, Sunday. So whichever day we don't stream over the weekend, I'll release the second one. And with a bit of luck, the third one will be out Monday, Tuesday. Depends. I'm not going to hold these to weeklies. As I say, once they're recorded and they're edited, I'll release them. Providing there's nothing else going on that evening, I'll publish it. So you won't have to wait a week for these. So if you got Thursday, with a bit of luck, you might be Saturday or Sunday for part two. Okay, guys. Right, so hopefully that all made sense for you. I am very sorry if it did not. If you need any help, just let me know and I will quite happily come and help you if it's a bit, whether it's a case of me jumping on your world and helping you or advising you or just explaining things again or letting you come and have a look at mine. I will do whatever I can in order to help you. Um, but I'm hoping I've gone nice and slow for you, so even if I've not made sense, you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So, I think that's it for today. So, until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, like and subscribe.